new combination of Group PSA and Fiat Chrysler, now known as Stellantis, hosted an EV day on July 8th, where it outlined its EV plans. Like Volkswagen, General Motors, and Ford before it, Stellantis is planning to shift from traditional internal combustion engine vehicles to battery electric power. It shows the company's intention to be environmentally friendly and meet the demands for the future emissions regulations, but more importantly, to show the stock markets around the world that Stellantis is not a traditional internal combustion engine power automaker, but a technology company ready for the 21st century. Plans for this shift towards an EV future includes investing more than 30 billion euros, or $35.5 billion, over the next four years. By 2030, Stellantis expects 70% of its European sales to be low emissions vehicles, while the target is 40% in North America. This falls in line with its competition's recent announcement and lays the groundwork for an all-electric lineup sometime in the 2030s. The two-hour presentation was short on specific product details, and probably part of the reason why the stock market didn't pop like it did for other companies. But here's what we know. In the next five years, Stellantis plans to create over 130 gigawatt hours of battery capacity with double that capacity five years later. To reach this goal, the company will start with five gigafactories in the United States, Germany, France, and Italy. The plants in Kaiserslautern, Germany, and Duvren, France are planned to be online starting in 2023. These two plants will be built under the umbrella of Automotive Cells Company, or ACC, a joint venture between Stellantis and Total. The Italian plant will be located in Termoli, where engines for Alfa Romeo, Fiat, and Jeep vehicles are made. Italian government support has been granted for this plant, and Stellantis expects this to be the first battery plant opened. No specifics were provided for the U.S. plan, however, a second plant is anticipated after 2025, possibly operated by ACC. Two different battery chemistries in standardized battery packs are part of the plan. In addition to the high energy density nickel manganese and low cost nickel cobalt free iron manganese cells, the company is expected to introduce a solid state battery in 2026. Part of this investment will be developing more efficient battery packs with targets of 40% efficiency boost by 2024 and an additional 20% boost by 2030, which equates to 4.3 miles per kilowatt hour. And with charging times as one of the biggest stumbling points to converting buyers, Stellantis wants class-leading charging speeds of 32 kilometers, or 20 miles, per minute, with planned range between 300 and 500 miles. The recent issues within the supply chain have brought to the forefront the need to ensure a steady stream of core components. Stellantis made sure to secure partnerships in North America and Europe for the lithium necessary for batteries. In addition to ACC, Batteries will be built in partnership with CATL, BYD, S-Volt, Samsung, and LG. With the previously announced 10-year window for all of its 14 brands to make their business case, each of these brands has created an EV theme. Abarth, heating up people but not the planet. Full electric starting in 2024. Fiat, it's only green when it's green for all. EV versions of each new model introduced starting in 2024. Promise is 100% electric as soon as we can offer electric at the price of thermic, which should happen in Europe between 2025 and 2030. Opel Vauxhall, green is the new cool. 100% electrified by 2024. Plans to introduce the new Manta E by mid-decade. All European models will be purely electric by 2028 and entering China with all EVs. Peugeot, turning sustainable mobility into quality time. 70% of the current lineup available is electrified, 83% by 2023 and 100% by 2025. Claims parity in margins between ICE and EV models. Dodge, tear up the streets, not the planet. The brand is reaching a practical limit to where the ICE can go. Full battery electric muscle car in 2024. Jeep, zero emission freedom. Focus on the torque provided by electrified powertrains. Grand Cherokee 4xE version offered in the new model. Wagoneer will be offered with a zero emissions option in 2025. All models offered in Europe are available as plug-in 4xE versions. Wrangler 4xE is the best-selling plug-in model in the United States in May of 2021. By 2025, 
plug-in 4xe versions offered on all models, and 70% of sales will be electrified. Solar charging stations being installed on trails. RAM, built to serve a sustainable planet. Targeting business and commercial buyers. Expects to surpass the competition with a fully electric Ram 1500 in 2024. A majority of models will be electrified by 2025, covering all segments by 2030. Commercial vehicles, the global leader in e-commercial vehicles. 100% electric and fuel cell LCD lineup by the end of 2022. Plans to be the global leader in e-commercial vehicles. Fuel cell vans being delivered by the end of 2021. While not specifically outlined, the other brands are also part of the shift to EVs. Alfa Romeo. From 2024, Alfa Romeo becomes Alfa E Romeo. Chrysler. Clean technology for a new generation of families. Citroen Electric. Well-being for all. DS Automobiles. The art of travel magnified. Lancia. The most elegant way to protect the planet. Maserati, the best in performance luxury, electrified. The plan has three power modules, including 70 kilowatt, 125 to 180 kilowatt, and 150 to 330 kilowatts of output, allowing the best performing models to cut a zero to 100 kilometer time in just two seconds. Flexible motors will allow vehicles to be front wheel drive, rear wheel drive, all wheel drive, or four wheel drive. A future-proof strategy for the hardware and software platforms will ease upgrades and enhance efficiencies over time. Motors will be produced by NPE, the European joint venture with NIDAC, while motors for the North American and China markets will be made by outside suppliers or in-house. Four vehicle platforms are being developed for the next generation of electric vehicles, referenced as Stella. Each platform is planned to account for as much as 2 million vehicles annually. Stella Small up to 500 kilometers or 300 miles of range. Efficient city mobility. Designed for the Fiat and Citroen brands. Supports models between 3.6 and 4.3 meters in length and 1.7 to 1.8 meters wide. Capable of carrying 37 to 82 kilowatt hours of batteries. Stella Medium, up to 700 kilometers or 440 miles of range for premium vehicles. Designed for the DS and Alfa Romeo brands. Supports models between 4.3 and 5 meters in length and 1.8 to 1.9 meters wide. Capable of carrying 87 to 104 kilowatt hours of batteries. Stella Large, up to 800 kilometers or 500 miles of range, all wheel drive. Performance and American muscle. Designed for a wide range of SUVs. Supports models between 4.7 and 5.4 meters in length and 1.9 to 2.0 meters wide capable of carrying 101 to 118 kilowatt hours of batteries. Will spawn a highly innovative electric pickup. Next generation of American muscle cars as well. Stella Frame, up to 800 kilometers or 500 miles of range. Capability and practicality. Pickups and full-size SUVs, capable of carrying 159 to over 200 kilowatt hours of batteries. Not only was the announcement focused on EVs, working with Foxconn, the company is planning new digital cockpits for instrumentation and connectivity, including over-the-air updates. Free-to-move e-solutions will provide charging solutions at home and on the road in Europe, with a similar plan outlined for the North American market. As if that wasn't enough, Stellantis is working with California-based Archer to develop electric vertical takeoff and landing, or EVTOL, aircraft for the urban mobility market. The automotive industry is in its most radical disruption in its history, and every major manufacturer needs to demonstrate how it will make the coming transition. Stellantis may be the newest manufacturer, but as the world's fourth largest automaker, it is almost required to outline its plans only six months after its birth. While the French and Italian sides are active in electrification in Europe, the North American side seems to be behind the competition. This perception by Wall Street was not changed after the presentation, despite the North American arm of the company providing the most detail on upcoming products. Time will tell if investors are right or wrong. However, analysis of the plan shows that Stellantis is planning to play to the strengths of each market and with each brand. Electrification can enhance most, if not all, the brands going forward. Stellantis is ready to take on the major players with its electrification plan. Now buyers just need to show up. For more details on Auto Forecast Solutions market analysis and forecasts, sign up for any level of our products. Clients receive various regular reports, including the industry standard 
Auto Forecast Monthly. Check out our website, give us a call, drop us an email, follow us on Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook, and of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more information. Until next time, I'm Sam Fioroni.